Hello everyone, it is day 11 of my trip to the UK, November 5th, and this morning I am in Tutbury in Hatton, staying with Aaron from All Things Doctor Who. After spending less than 24 hours here, it's time for me to head out and travel to Scarborough Comic Con, which has four Doctors present, the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison, as well as the sixth Doctor, Colin Baker, and the seventh Doctor, Sylvester McCoy, and the eighth Doctor, Paul McGann. But first, I needed to get it to Scarborough Comic Con. So Aaron and I wake up basically five minutes before we need to get to the bus. We get ready, we head out, and we just make it to the bus on time. So I've had an amazing time here. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's been, good. It's been incredible. We watched some good Doctor Who, but now I'm off to Scarborough. To meet Paul McGann. Oh my gosh. I know, but don't, don't tell us. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. And we just make it to the bus on time and we're riding the bus to the Burton-on-Trent train station. Or at least that was the plan. So we're riding in the bus and all of a sudden it starts to slow down. The bus driver's looking worried and the bus pulls over and stops right outside this graveyard of St. Mary's Church. All right, so the bus has broken down. We're stranded for the moment. Will we get to the train in time? Who knows? We, we will be fine. It's only 10 minutes, five minutes from here. All right, I was trying to build up some drama, but no. all right, we'll be fine. <laughs> we don't need to build drama, we're fine. <laughs> we decided to get a taxi once it came, piled in, and got to the Burton on Trent train station. We have made it successfully to the train station. We so. have all here now, happy and not rushing around with a broken taxi, broken down taxi or bus. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Scarborough now. Yes, I'm meeting Paul McGann, Pete Davison, oh Colin Baker, and McCoy. Oh. It's incredible. It's gonna be an amazing, it's an amazing time. Oh. It was there that I said goodbye to Aaron. So then I get on the train at the Burton-on-Trent train station. Aaron, he had been so welcoming. It was so lovely to get to see him for a second time. He helped me to book my tickets and throughout this trip helped me out so much when I was panicking because I was lost and several times was just there to help me with booking and travel. Thank you so much, Aaron, for being so wonderful and such a good friend. And I'm so grateful to Lynn and Barry, who Aaron stays with, for opening up their home to me as well. And I take the train from Burton-on-Trent to York. Once I got to York, I had to find the right platform. So that was an adventure, but I did eventually find my way to the right spot. And I got on the train with just three minutes to spare. And even though I wasn't entirely sure that I was on the right train because it came earlier than it said it would, I hopped on the train and it was indeed the correct move to make. The train took me from York to Scarborough. All in all, the journey from Burton-on-Trent to Scarborough took me about three hours total. At first, I wasn't sure if I would bother to go because it was three hours out of my way and the convention had basically started at 11 a.m. and it was now around 1.30 p.m. when I arrived in Scarborough. So I get off the train at Scarborough and there's this lovely welcome to Scarborough sign. Let me know I was in the right place. All right, as you can see behind me, I've made it to Scarborough. Now I'm going to find a cash point and find my hotel. I found where I was staying, checked in, left my luggage there. The Premier Inn was lovely. I highly recommend. Out of all of the hotels that I stayed in, this was the cheapest and also one of the nicest. Today was just one of those days that you want to be able to savor every moment from. You want to be able to remember every single moment. I spent like half an hour just trying to get to a cash machine so that I could have the 10 pounds in cash for entry to the convention. Getting to the convention was only about a 14 minute walk. So I'm just here, there's a beautiful day. The weather is lovely. It was such an amazing and beautiful, surreal scene to be on the seaside in Scarborough. You see Doctor Who cosplayers walking on the beach. And I thought, how ironic that it's such a beautiful day and we're at the seaside in Scarborough and we're all going to stand in line inside. I spotted this incredible Mandalorian cosplayer who gave me directions to get inside. So thank you. And inside, there's tons of Doctor Who fans and cosplayers, including this Dalek made entirely out of cardboard. A giant gorilla that I think is King Kong. 
I was more interested in the TARDIS that was right next to that display. And I got to take pictures in front of the TARDIS. There was another Doctor Who fan there. I offered to take his photo in front of the TARDIS and then he took my photo in front of the TARDIS. So thank you so much for that. There were some props and costumes on display, which was so cool. Immediately I spot Colin Baker, who I had seen just the weekend before at Barry Comic Con. So even though I wanted to say hello to Colin Baker, I had to prioritize meeting doctors that I hadn't yet met. So I got in line for Peter Davison. We were going in line, we're going in line, we're waiting, 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 takes ages. I'm still, I'm about halfway through the line when all of the doctors have to get up and leave and go for a multi-doctor, multi-companion photo shoot. So the place was like a ghost town. We're all still standing there trying to hold our places in the line. Thankfully, there was a Gandalf and Gollum cosplayers there who entertained us as we waited in line. Peter Davison returns, sits back at his table. We're going through the line, going through the line. I finally get up to Peter Davison. We started with the autograph and I brought my Utopia book. And so I had to get the fifth doctor to sign his page in this book. It is amazing. And it says to Alex, best Peter Davison, and then the Roman numeral of five. I got also a selfie with him. He took a picture with me. It was amazing. He was so nice, gave the nicest hug. Oh my goodness, just such a lovely person. He was smiling and I gave him my business card, my Doctor Who Guide business card. I gave him out to everybody that I met today. And I also purchased a short video Video of him saying this. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who Guide YouTube channel now. Oh my gosh, that is so incredible. So now I have the fifth and sixth doctors saying that. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who Guide YouTube channel. You know it makes sense. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe to the Doctor, Doctor Who Guide YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. You know now. it makes sense. And then I went to Sophie Aldred's line. I was next in line to meet her, but then the talk was happening. The panel was amazing. So much fun. Everybody was so funny. <laughs> 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 so after the panel, which was amazing, I got back into Sophie's line. I got to meet her. She is so amazing. Just as cool as you could ever hope. Just as sweet as you think she is. She signed my book. She took a selfie with me. A very, very nice, kind person. And I was like, you know what? Let's do a video with Sophie. And this is it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who Guide YouTube channel. Hello. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe to the Doctor, Doctor Who Guide YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Hello. Hello. Sense. And next up, I got to meet the seventh doctor, Sylvester McCoy, and I can't believe I'm saying this for the second time. I got to meet him once in Super Mega Fest in the US years ago, and so I was so excited to meet him again. He was lovely, oh my gosh, and he signed his page. And that says, to Alex, good luck, exclamation mark, Sylvester McCoy, with the Roman numeral of seven. I also got a picture with him and asked him to hold the original photograph from eight years, six months, and 18 days ago to the day. It was so special. He loved the idea and was just so cheerful and lovely. There was a lull in the line for Sarah Sutton as Nyssa, and so I took that opportunity to go to say hi to her. Sarah Sutton was so nice as well and uh, interested in the, my trip and the fact that I was, you know, coming from the US. It was just lovely to talk with her. She's so nice. And it was just like how I imagined meeting her, except I was more nervous. <laughs> Next, I went into the Paul McGann line and that was because it was long and I really wanted to get to him and say hello because I'd met Colin Baker and Sylvester McCoy before. So I was like, I gotta get in the Paul McGann line. And that took ages to get through. And there was one person in front of me. And then at that point, there were three people who had missed their photo shoots. And so they did another quick photo shoot session. So he had to go away for like five or 10 minutes and then come back. But then I got to meet Paul McGann, the Paul McGann, the amazing ace doctor. He was so nice. I got two firm handshakes from him. He was so nice. He's he's interested in what you're saying. He is 100% present with you. He was so sweet and so nice. What threw me is that his line and all of his autographs and things and selfies and videos, they were all cash only and I didn't have any cash. I thought I'd be able to pay with my card. I couldn't get his signature. I couldn't get a video with him. I couldn't get a selfie with him. It was so sad, so 
frustrating, but I did have a lovely conversation with him. I did get to meet him. I did get to give him my business card. I also forgot I had the annual. I had the 1997 unofficial Traquius Distributors Annual with me. I meant to tell him, hey, I'm one of the writers. And I have a short story in this, but it completely escaped my mind because I was thrown by not being able to pay with my card, but it was still so amazing. It, you can't have a bad day when you've met Paul McGann. After Paul McGann, I met Sonny McGann, Paul McGann's son, who played Alex, who is a character who is very important to the Doctor, and if you know, you know. Uh, and so that made me very happy to finally meet, you know, Alex, the character from Doctor Who, but the actor who played him. And of course, he's a big Finnish producer as well. And the son of Paul McGann. And I actually got to have a nice long conversation with him. Not long, but compared to a con conversation. And it was absolutely incredible. I loved it. He was so nice. And we just got to chat. And again, he was cash only, so I couldn't get a signature or a selfie um, or anything like that. But such an incredible day. I got to meet some lovely the Doctor Who fans as well. I met a couple of people in line. Um, Cameron, it was lovely to meet you. Um, it was great that we we could hold each other's bags or take pictures for each other. Uh, it was lovely to meet you. And I also got to meet his friend uh, who has some Dalek videos and had some very cool items that he got signed. Uh, a Seventh Doctor umbrella, a, a newspaper with a picture of him as a kid with the sixth doctor and you got that sign. It's some very cool stuff and it was lovely to meet you. And to everyone that I met that day, thank you so much for connecting with me, saying hi, and thank you to Project Dalek Mark for liking and subscribing. I really enjoyed meeting you. At the end of the convention, I complimented a second doctor cosplayer's outfit and uh, we got chatting and we actually, we visited uh, Nicola Bryant uh, at the same time she was packing up and we were we just kind of went up and said sorry to bother you we, we don't want it we just wanted to say hi just amazing and so sweet and so kind and was just great so i'm standing outside of the convention i cannot believe the day that i have had it has been the best day ever and i'm standing on this beautiful beach in scarborough and as if this were the ending to a movie all of a sudden fireworks just start going off for guy fox day and it just felt like the most cinematic ending to a beautiful day ever There were some people even on the seaside, like not 200 feet away from me, who set off a firework as well, which was startling, but and very entertaining because I got a pretty close up shot of it. And so even though I was a little bit worried walking in the dark in an area that I'd only walked once before, I thankfully made it back to my hotel and it was a lovely hotel, very, very nice, so lovely to just unwind after such an amazing day. And I got to sit down and I just wanted to remember every second of this day. So I filmed a recap of what had happened. So it was now the end of the day. And so I just went to bed and slept so soundly because the next day, I would do the most traveling I had ever done in the UK to get to my next destination. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who Guide YouTube channel now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who Guide YouTube channel. You know it makes sense. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who Guide YouTube channel. Hello.